Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a case clothing haul, which I am so excited to film. So if you like these types of clothing hauls, then please do subscribe and I will get into the video now. I haven't done a Kate's clothing haul in quite some time, but there has been one skirt that I've looked at for months and I just fell in love with it and I thought it would go with so many outfits and it's by the brand Dark In Love. So I was keeping an eye on it on Kate's clothing and then they had a discount code for 20% off and I had to get it. <laughs> So this haul will include two items. One of them is by Dark In Love and the other one is by Killstar. So I will just go through the process of how I bought them as well because I did do something a bit different that I haven't done before. So just in case you're not aware, this might help you if you want to like combine points and discounts and stuff. The 20% took off £10.99 which is really good but I also had a £7 gift card if you remember the video I did probably last time by Kate's Clothing I'll link that video in the eye if you want to go and watch that one after this I bought the Killstar Eden dress and it was the last one in that size but there was a hole in like the sleeve part of it because they couldn't get me another size, I decided to keep the item, but they gave me £7 in a gift card, which I thought, okay, that's fine. But I really wanted to use it for this. So I sent Kate a message via Facebook and she said, you know, that's fine, no problem. If you just email customer services saying that you'd like to use a gift card, they can refund it afterwards. They took off the discount when I paid on the website and then I sent them an email and they refunded me seven pounds. So that was amazing. I haven't really heard of any other companies doing that. So yeah, I was really, really pleased. I was able to use my discount and a gift card. But yeah, so I will go through the items that I got first. So I'll go through the big one uh, to begin with. And this is called the Dark in Love Lacerta. Lacerta is L-A-C-E-R-T-A. I'm not sure how you say it. Skirt. This is the bag it came in. I thought the logo was on the other side. But yeah, so all of Dark in Love's items do come in these big bags and they say amazing designs only for you and i did get this skirt in a medium because i also did a kate's clothing haul i don't think it was the same one as that dress i think it was around the winter time again i will link that video in the eye i bought a dark in love skirt and it was like my first dark in love item and it was a gray tartan one with stars and i heard everyone saying to size up when it came to this company and that skirt fits me perfectly so i decided to size up in this one and go for a medium and again it fits me really really well so this is what their tag looks like again it's very similar to the bag design and then it just has the size on the back and this is what the skirt looks like So probably not what you were actually expecting from Dark In Love because a lot of Dark In Love stuff that I see is very Victorian, like really long, elegant, flowy dresses, long sleeves, lace, like all of that. But this was the only one that I found that isn't really like that. Um, and this is definitely, in my opinion, more of like a grunge style, basically because of this pocket. I mean, if you look at it, it's kind of like a basic pleated skirt but the added details i just as i said fell in love with so we'll go through the main features of this skirt and as always i will have a try on section at the end of it so to begin with it's a super nice quality which is kind of what i expected from the last skirt i got i was really impressed with the quality of that it wasn't like a skirt that was all thin like the material is really really thick and nice I will find out what the material is. Okay, so the material is 95% polyester and 5% spandex. But it feels like a super thick quality material. And then it does have pleats in it, as you can see. So it kind of looks like, almost like a school skirt, I feel like. <laughs> so it's got pleats all at the back and all down the front. And as you can probably see, there is this huge zip all the way down the front of it 
So if you start from the top, it's kind of like the end of the zip that would usually be at the bottom of something is actually at the top. And then you've got this huge chunky zip at the bottom. And this is actually quite heavy. It doesn't like pull on the skirt or anything, but you can definitely like feel the weight of it. And the zip is really, really chunky as well. And it is like a good quality zip. It's not stiff or anything like there's no issues with that at all and then it goes on to the belt now when i first took this out the wrap i thought this wrapper when i first took this out the bag i thought this would be an adjustable belt but it's actually not and i think it would have been a bit better if it was so as you can see this has actually been stitched so you have the two pieces of material and then you have the buckle but there's no way of adjusting it. So to get the skirt on, you basically have to undo the zip and then you wrap it round yourself and then do the zip up and then you have to click this. So basically to get it on, you have to undo the belt. Now, the only good thing of not having the adjustable things is you don't lose it, it doesn't fall out, like it's easier this way. But I definitely say that if it was adjustable, you'd be able to make it fit a bit better, if that makes sense. And I'll talk about that a bit later in terms of like sizing and everything. So yeah, but there is one of these kind of, I always call it a cargo style because it's always on cargo style clothing. But it does have one of these belt buckles more for effect i'd say rather than purpose and then on the side and again this is a detail i just loved it has a pocket and i just think this is so cute so it's quite detailed despite it looking plain so to begin with it does have these small loops on the side here and then it's got these kind of clasp thing so you pull on that and then that undoes so if you just wanted kind of a plain black skater skirt without the pocket this is fully removable so you can take this off which i like because it's versatile and then down from the clasp you have this kind of fabric hanging pocket and there's also this piece of chain as a detail and again one of these kind of cargo style buckles so when you undo this this is actually a fully functioning pocket, which I really appreciate. And it is quite big, like I can fit my whole hand in there. You could definitely fit a phone, like keys, like basic stuff. And I feel like this skirt would be really good for kind of festivals and stuff where you don't want a bag. Um, I've never been to a festival, but I imagine this is what you would want for a festival. And then again, another feature that I liked is this strap that hangs way past the actual skirt and this is a very similar feature to the shorts i showed in a sheen haul which i think will be up before this video so i will link that in the eye as well but i did buy some cargo shorts and they had very similar pockets obviously not as nice of a quality as this but they had that same long material hanging down past the length of the shorts if that makes sense and that does sit on the left hip it does have a belt loop but i'm not sure why it would need a belt loop because it's not like you could put a belt with this um but yeah there is a one random belt loop <laughs> in terms of sizing as i said got it in a size medium because i have another skirt same brand same kind of style that was a size medium and it fits really well i tried this on kind of late at night and it was a tiny bit tight but i was like okay you know i can still wear it it's not a big deal it's not like i can't breathe or anything but then i tried it on in the morning and it was actually too loose <laughs> which just shows how much you change like over the course of the day so when i put this on in the morning it was a tiny bit loose and it kept like falling down past where i really wanted to sit but i imagine as you eat throughout the day it would just kind of work a bit better but i'd say this was definitely the right size to go for but it's just a shame as i said you can't adjust it because i would be able to make it tighter in the morning and loosen it off by the end of the day <laughs> but yeah overall it sits okay and you know it's not the end of the world i just kind of have to adjust it if that makes sense in terms of length i find this a really nice length it's almost a bit 
longer than most of my dresses i'm not sure it kind of looks the same length as my other skirts but then in photos it kind of looks a bit longer i'm five foot two so i'm quite short kate's clothing are usually really really helpful in like measurements so if you're a bit taller and you still like this skirt you can always send them a message for them to measure it but in my opinion it's not like a super super short skirt even though it does say mini skirt but i just double check with them with your size and everything but i would say this isn't like a super short skirt i'd say it's more average Kind of main features and details i can give about this i do have a outfit of the day planned with this skirt that i've already tried on and i love <laughs> so that will be coming soon but as i said you could really wear this with jumpers in the winter and it would kind of be like cozy or again you can i find this more like a grungy skirt with like fishnets and big chunky boots and this will go nicely with the green tie-dye t-shirt i got in that sheen haul and also i know there's a company called mary wyatt i think it's called and they have this really cool long sleeve top and it's like split down the middle and half of it's black and half of it's white and i feel like that with this would just look amazing so i've definitely got lots of ideas with this skirt it's nice to have something that's not completely lace or completely velvet or anything like that. It's a bit of a different style. <laughs> that is the first item. This one cost £39.99, which is why I was looking at it but not buying it straight away. But as I said, I did get a discount. And the second and last item I got from Kate's Clothing was the Killstar item. And this is a pair of sunglasses. Now, Killstar have been doing sunglasses for quite a few years, but there's never been a design that I've looked at and thought, oh my gosh, I need that, because they've all been very <laughs> over the top, which I get, but I don't really usually go for that. Like, I like the look of them, but it's not something I'd necessarily wear. Until they released these, and again, they are still a little bit bigger than what I usually would pick, but these are called the Killstar Rays Up sunglasses and they do also have these in red but i did get the black pair and they are one size so these ones cost 14 pounds 99 which in my opinion is a good price for sunglasses they do say uv 400 protection which is good and they're kind of simple cat eye sunglasses but i just liked how they looked and i did actually break my sunglasses half of them snapped and then i super glued them and then the other half snapped so i was like think it's time to change them <laughs> so this is what these ones look like they are pretty simple they do have killstar written on the ends of them here with a pentagram detail at the side which i thought was really cute and then they do have the kind of big cat eye effect as i said these are a little bit bigger than what i go for and they kind of have like a purplish tint in my opinion looking through them they look blue I don't know they looked purple earlier but now they're looking blue so this is what they look like on as you can see they literally come down to my nose so they are quite big sunglasses i do like how they look at the sides with the big points i think they look kind of dramatic and sassy <laughs> but i do really like them these are a bit darker than i usually like i'm not sure if you can see my eyes through them but i can't see my eyes through them on the viewfinder the only issue I have with these is they keep sliding down my nose. So if you'll see, I put them up here. If I look down and then look back up, they've already slid down. Like they don't really stay on my nose. 
and I think it's just because this bit is too wide. Usually I have the ones with the pads that you can adjust but I do need to figure out how to fix these. If you have any ideas of how you can fix these types of sunglasses like maybe you can put things on them um, do let me know in the comments below because I really love the style of these but it is a bit annoying if I look down or if it's windy or something. So overall I do like them, that's the only issue I have with them but that's more of a personal issue. cost $14.99 these came so well protected they did come wrapped up I've lost it in one of these plastic bags and then they were wrapped up in one of these kind of you press them kind of thing and it feels like a foam material with kill star so it came in one of these sunglass bags and then it came in a box which I thought was quite cute to be honest the little sunglass box and then it came wrapped up in one of these huge parcel bags with bubble wrap and then that was put inside the carrier bag and it had fragile written all over it so they definitely made sure to protect these i'm not sure if you order from killstar whether they do the same i'd imagine they just put the box in which honestly they were pretty protected in the box but i definitely say kate's clothing went above like what i was expecting and really made sure that nothing was going to happen to them when they got shipped which i really appreciate and i think it's good of a company but yeah so that was my order so it's 39.99 plus 14.99 take away 10.99 which was 43 pound 99 and then i took off a seven pound gift card so i think it's 36.99 so that is a really good price for a skirt and sunglasses so i was super super pleased with my order from kate's clothing i usually am to be honest if you do like killstar clothing but are worried about the customer service and everything i definitely go with kate's clothing if you are in the uk just because of shipping but yeah so i hope you enjoyed this video please let me know if you did did you pick up anything in kate's clothing's 20 percent off sale which item was your favorite remember to press the notification bell if you want to be notified when i do upload and also please do subscribe to my channel if you like these types of fashion related videos as i do quite a few and i will see you in my next video bye